Hi there, this is Ame from Exploring Excel. Thank you for signing up. Here is your dashboard template. When you go on this page down below, you will find the link to download this page. There will be also a support page where you can view the tutorials. Now when you open this template, you will see this type of dashboard. This dashboard contains four important elements. The first thing is the name of the dashboard. The second place is top four KPIs. And the third place is comparison of the five KPIs. And the last place is source and footer credits. Let's go on to the main sheet. When you just download your dashboard, you will be landed onto this main page where you will see the four steps. Just click on start creating your dashboard. They will redirect you to the step one page. In the dashboard name, you have to write the name of the dashboard. In the footer credits, the credits which are down below the dashboard, that is copyright your company name. And the source line is you can write anything like your marketing report, auditor report and so on. Click on the next step if you complete this step. There are also some tool tips besides to guide you within the area. Next step is to enter the four KPIs with the information. Name the top four KPIs here and then this will automatically come. You can set the current year and previous year here and no other option is available in the step three which will automatically pop up based on the step two. Now enter the current year data and enter the previous year data. The percentage change will be automatically calculated here and which will be appeared in your dashboard this section where it says in 2014-15 it was 44% increase in sales rather from the last year. Going back to the step 2, you have completed it. Click on step 3 or next step where they will prompt you to enter the other 5 KPIs which will be available or which will be visible in this area. After entering these 5 KPIs, you have to enter quarter 1, quarter 2, quarter 3, quarter 4. All this will be written from predefined or else if you want to change it, you can change it right now here. Then enter the data for the current year and data for the previous year. Similarly, enter the data for all the five KPIs. Then you can see there is a notes section on the right hand side. You can customize this section by going to the step three and write your notes. Now the notes create some personal touch to your dashboard and which is very useful. Then you can just click on any of these button and click and navigate it. The macro will be, will be running can see product efficiency. Now you can easily change these names when you go on to the step 3. If you change it expenditure to average cost, all the changes will be automatically reflected and everything would be working correctly. Thank you.